good afternoon everyone. I am running a bit like a headless chicken. We are going away for the weekend in about 10 minutes time and I just feel like I've forgot stuff. But despite that, I'm going to try and paint my nails before I get picked up. I don't know whether to ditch this hairband actually. I think I might just ditch it. Let me try and paint my nails while we chat because I've got so much to catch up on. First things first, you might notice, well you might not notice actually but I can definitely notice that my voice sounds really croaky and that's because I have been unwell all week. That's a nice colour, isn't it? It's like a nice pinky nude. Second thing is I've obviously had my hair done. I went in to get my balayage a little bit darker. As you can see, it's a lot darker. It is darker than I thought it was going to be, but I'm glad in a way. Um, I feel like my hair washes out really, really quickly. Like It doesn't hold colour very well at all. When I've been getting it lighter and getting a toner put on it, Obviously when you get your hair bleached it goes an orangey colour but if you've had it dark it goes like an orangey colour usually um, and that will happen until you basically manage to bleach it blonde and you can only do that after doing it several several times and every time you bleach your hair your hair gets a little bit more damaged. So to try and counteract that you put a toner on top and then the toner washes out really quickly on my hair so it just means I've ended up just hating my hair recently um, and feeling like it was really really orange and just not enjoying it. I felt like I could hardly wear anything because everything made it look more orange. Um, I tried the blue shampoo and stuff, but I thought, you know what? Let's just go back to my roots, go back to dark and enjoy it for the autumn because the autumn and the winter, because I feel like when your hair is this dark, this is like my actual natural colour. So um, when it's this dark, I feel like I can get away with wearing so much more colour. The only thing is I feel really washed out just now because I'm not used to it. Last thing was tonight we are going to Stobo castle and um, this is for this vlog so this is i'll need to mark this as ad because it's a gifted stay and it's not paid it's a gifted stay in exchange for a vlog so i am going away with my three friends so courtney who's who you'll have seen on here before she came to lockside with us she is what how many months pregnant she'd be now like eight months pregnant so she is going to enjoy a nice wee spa weekend she's also got a wee boy um so It'll be a nice wee break for her. Ash, who I'm sure most of you follow, um, she is Mama Reed on YouTube. I'll leave her channel linked below. And uh, Courtney, Ash and Lauren. So Lauren is Ash's sister-in-law. Um, yeah, Ash's sister-in-law. I'm going to put this Stretch I don't know how to say it, stuff on top. It's a hard, like a top coat, but it's really quick drying and it makes your, your nails solid really quickly. Anyway, so we're going to Stobo tonight and um, the four of us are going to go and stay in the Cashmere Suite which is a really, really lovely room. I've had a look at it online. I'll leave it linked below actually because you can go and do like a wee virtual tour. It looks amazing. We're going for dinner tonight and then there's hot tubs that are open until half past ten. It's not like really nice weather outside at all but um, I don't think that matters when it's a hot tub. We're going to sit in the hot tub tonight. We're going to go for dinner, sit in the hot tub, have a wee drink. Then in the morning we're going for breakfast and we're going to go for a wee spa treatment. So I think I'm getting a massage. I feel bad because obviously we don't have like an overnight childcare. So it wasn't really an option for just me and Andy to go. Um, and Andy was like, no, go, that's fine. Like go with your pals and enjoy it. Yeah, I'm going to get all my stuff ready and then Ash is coming to pick us up because she's driving. And then we will go to the castle. Here we go, let me do an outfit of the day. Excuse the horrendous mess behind me, but that was me trying to pack. The bed is actually made, it's just covered in stuff I decided not to take in my suitcase. This jumper, which is from H&M last year, and it's really, really heavy, thick. Um, I think this is called a fisherman's net, I'm not sure, but it's very, very warm. I don't know if I'm going to be too warm. The sleeves are quite balloon style. And then I have on these leggings, um, which make my legs look really stumpy actually but I feel like I have to roll them up a little bit so that it doesn't look like I'm just all joined and wearing a cat suit or something. Yeah these are from Miss Selfridge like about two years ago and then these little suede boots which are from, well fake suede boots which are from New Look. <laughs> Nice. Like, don't touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, so this is our room. 
This is the cashmere suite. This is the bedroom. And we tellies. It's all like very castle themed. Um, so then you come through this wee bit and you have a little wardrobe. This, what you can hear is the telly. Um, the speakers are like everywhere, so we've got a double, a full size mirror and these big fancy doors. And then this is the wee living room area. And then this is the bathroom. You can change the lights. I'm looking to see, is it here? Yeah, that's what she said. You can change all the lights. Like you change it to look, this is the afternoon setting. Oh, I prefer here. this. It's a wee bit brighter. Afternoon and then here's morning. Here's, and here's morning. <laughs> and here is morning. <laughs> so this is the huge big oh, bath. And then you've got a little his and her sink. And then this is the shower. I wonder if you can see everything because that is quite dark. That's better. The lighting guy over there sorted us out. And then that's the wee toilet in there. And then there's also an outdoor bit, isn't there? And a fancy ass mirror. And a fancy ass Just laughing how we're in this, this lovely room and we're watching Keenan and Kel. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the terrace. Right. So this is... The wee oh my god, this is so nice by the way. This is the wee terrace. And we've got sunlighters, thank god. And we've got the big fancy stairs. And that is the castle up there. Put it all over my jacket. I feel like you've got the peer pressure on you to open it. Like, Lauren's about to, Lauren's in a bit of a minute. Why is the wind actually closed? In fact, I'm calling it a shacket. I feel like the music's appropriate anyway. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. One, thirty. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just that's defeat the practice. That's just taking off. What what is this suit for? Just right here. I feel like that. That's the dry your toes. So we just sat um chatting for ages and realised we need to go for dinner so we're actually not going to get as dressed up as we planned and getting dressed up we're just going as we are so that's not so bad we're, are you, I feel like you're videoing me what? are you videoing me? What no I'm, I'm doing like in the back selfie <laughs> is that, that, that must be the worst front camera face ever uh -huh, I just did it okay. <laughs> right. are we going to go for the hot tub thing after? I think we could go for dinner and then to see what time that finished that and then potentially go for cocktails in our robe so if you can do that uh -huh. then go for a cocktail Get you after dinner. I'll see you later. I'll bring you something back. 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 And it was amazing. We had steak and chocolate brownies, and we're just out for a wee walk around the place. This is the swimming we're going to go to in the morning. Courtney's just testing out the egg chair, <laughs> and this is the swimming. Oh, there's some Dennis Speedos. We're not. <laughs> okay, change of plan. We're not going to the hot tub because it's shut in like 20 minutes. So we are just going to go to the wee cocktail bar. And apparently, it's really nice. Apparently, <laughs> every time I see it, I think of that wee boy. I'm absolutely roasting. I'm wearing this big, thick jumper from H&M last year, and oh my god, it's like wearing a big throw. And I have nothing under it, so I'm just sitting here. So that is us back now. We had such a nice dinner. Um, 
yeah, we had a really, really nice dinner. Can't get to get a normal light in here. Um, yeah, so we went up to the wee cocktail bar and we had a couple of wee cocktails. And then we're back in jammies. Of course. These are from ASOS. I'll link them below if they're still on there, but I love these jammies. We all ended up being in silky jammies. Yeah, we have a ridiculous amount of snacks with us, even though we had a massive, massive dinner. But it's been so nice. We've just been chilling out. I'm not really drinking that much because I had such a bad migraine all day yesterday. Um, and I really don't want to, to come back. So I've just had a couple of wee drinks and um, we're just going to sit up and chat all night. Um, let me show you our snack collection. It's ridiculous. This is for four people <laughs> after the big three course meal. We have cheese puffs. Onion rings, the best salt and vinegar crisps ever. These are the co-op ones, aren't they? Mm -hmm. um, Jenga, thanks Lauren. Pringles, we have cookies, fudge, Kit Kat. These which are the best things ever. I discovered these at Lockside, on the way to Lockside. Ash's recommendation and they are Flips. amazing. Like actually too addictive, I don't even really want to open them because I can't stop. Mm. Let's, play, let's play Would You Rather, Rex. You can play this because I'll take okay. it. Go for it. I want to go for it. You might as well try to get it in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I feel like bad now. <laughs> I feel like you'll be able to do it, Lauren. Wait, that's it. Take one. Everybody. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Got me up all night Putting things on the side What do you have in mind? She's awake all the time We ended up having a very, very late night last night. We didn't go to bed until like half three. Just sitting, chatting, eating sweets. But me and Courtney were awake at eight, half eight. So that's a wee five hours sleep and we're now going to Go for a wee spa treatment, go for breakfast and then go for spa treatments and I think we'll go for the hot tub after. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and in the hot tub, but it's actually a nice day. So we'll sit outside for a wee bit and then we've got lunch as well. Andy told me that the boys were up at five o'clock this morning, um, which is a bit of a sin, but also I'm like, you don't want them to have it too easy when you're away because you want to see how hard it actually is. So. Um, I feel like Oliver was on my side with that one a wee bit. So yeah, oh my god, I look so tired. I've also removed like all my eyelashes. I don't know what happened, but I've been getting my eyelashes done for like three years now. And I usually get them topped up like every two years, every two years, every two weeks. And for some reason, I got a full set of them last week and they were all out within a week. So I don't know what's going on. I always feel like my face doesn't look like my face when I've got them. And I don't know how to do mascara, which doesn't help. I'm going to go get breakfast. I actually can't, look for, I can't wait for a big cup of tea. We got such nice showers this morning, so you get a little selection or a big selection of molten brown products. So you, they've got body lotions and body wash and shampoo and conditioner and everything, so you can literally just take your pick and use whatever ones you want. I used this body lotion, the molten brown coastal cypress, coastal cypress and sea fennel, and it's so nice. And then I think he's the Alang Alang. Shower gel, amazing, and they sell all these products as well. So, if you try them out and you like them, you can go and buy them before you go home. We bit sad I never got a bath, but the shower was so good. So, we're going to go just now and get our spa treatments. Are you trying to find I hope this ain't a lie? Because I'm vibing with all we have, yeah, I'm feeling what we are now. I'm laying down on the ground, all I do is thinking of love. Yeah, I'm vibing with all we have I'm feeling what we are now All I do is thinking of love So we're now just in the swimming bit um, We've just had our, had our breakfast and we've had We've all had a back massage Courtney got a foot treatment, it is lovely And it's got these huge big glass windows You just get a really nice view And maybe sun lounge on which you feel like a holiday Cause I'm running with these emotions Stumbling out of bed One hell of a roller coaster You mess it with my head I'm ending Just trying to tidy up and stuff before we go Pack all our stuff, we've got loads and loads of snacks left over So we've got some car snacks We're actually going for lunch just now as well um, And I think we're going to go for a wee walk Around the gardens because there's actually apparently, Somebody messaged me and said that there's a Japanese water garden somewhere um, Which is meant to be really really nice So we're going, oh god this is so blue So we're going to go for a walk 
around the ground to see what it's like. Maybe outfit of the day before we go. So I've got on my, oh, you really can't see this. I've my navy jumpsuit, which I wear all the time. And I've just rolled up the bottoms a wee bit because it's too long for me. This wee yellow bag, which is, I only got yesterday from New Look. And then this jacket is the Borg denim jacket from Primark. And I've got my wee Mercy my man necklace on. Oh, and I've got a headband from Next because I just could not be bothered with my hair. So we just left dinner, oh lunch. Just left lunch and it was amazing. We just had the sticky toffee pudding. And I think because we've eaten so much, all of us feel like we just need to go for a walk. We're gonna go outside, I actually don't know if it's pouring rain or not, but we're gonna go for a wee walk um, and go and see this Japanese water garden. But how nice are the wee features in here? Like there's so many nice wee interiors, but it's like they're picking stuff for their, their house. <laughs> I was just telling the girls how nice this restroom is. <laughs> It's so fancy. How lovely is that? This is the most bizarre setup, but you basically have basically like a toilet. It's, it's a BD, isn't it? It's yeah. like an automatic. It's called a Vitra Ladies Wash menu. Ladies Wash menu. Is it not a front wash? Tells I'm you. a bit intimidated, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like a standard toilet's fine. Guys, can I get if who was you? Yeah. Is it real? Nice. Courtney, he's real. Well, up there. Sure. Yeah, I'm joking. It's not. My blood I would actually. Do you know Andy used to have a budgie? My dad used to have. My dad had a budgie. He was two lovebirds and two cockatoos, and then <laughs> George and Mildred was two lovebirds, and then there was Priscilla, Elvis, and Priscilla. That's really cute. Wait, that's not So clueless. What are you trying to find? I'm running with these emotions Tell me what do you have Just came for a walk How down to the to Japanese <laughs> We just came for a walk down to the Japanese water gardens which I didn't realise was going to be like it's a proper country walk which sounds really stupid but poor Ash has got on <laughs> <laughs> the heeled boots <laughs> This is like um, struggling in the cobbled streets It's, it's, like it's, it's pretty bad, end. yeah but it's, it already looks like it's worth it. <laughs> it looks really nice. Lauren as well. <laughs> Lauren, please do that again. <laughs> There's midges too, but I'm, I'm sorted. Me and Courtney, me and Courtney are in. Trainers. <laughs> hey. Lauren's shown how to dress for a downward descent in the country. We're basically mountain climbing and Lauren's got a faux fur clutch <laughs> and a blazer. I know. <laughs> so graceful. Oh, is it? Can you see it from there? Lauren, just tell us how nice it is. I'm reversing rabbits. My feet are too much of a pain. In case you need to catch me. What is actually happening? Oh, that is lovely. <laughs> Look how I spent some money. I'm skint, so I'll just leave it. Oh, I don't think that's it. Ah. How nice is this? Worth the trek. It is worth the trek. <laughs> worth the backwards worth trek. The trek. Oh, and there's another wee bit over here. Right, I'm not going to try and get across this because I can see how it would end. I feel like you never really get the full appreciation on the camera. No, you don't. Really. Go on then, one, two, three. I actually did this at, um, I did this at... One step. I'm going to go hand. Kulkruit Castle and I fell in the water. No, you never. I did, you quite recently. You say that when I'm mid in the water. You've got heels as well. See, if you fall, I am going to actually... That's <laughs> <take laughs> so I'm videoing, I'm just waiting. Oh, this is cute. This is where the Blair Witch lives. Loads of people said to us, like, make sure you come to the water garden because people forget to go and they don't think it's much. And I have to be honest, when they said it, I thought it was going to be like a wee lake with some like nice wee lily pads in it. And just like a nice wee, oh, that's lovely. And then that's it. But this is a full wee world down here. You come down the wee hill and it's like a full forest with loads of little bits that you can go to, like wee rivers that you can cross and wee 
hats that have got like stuff in them. Like kids would absolutely love this. How much would see when the kids were bigger to take them down here and pure explore? I, know. I would have loved this when I was like say like six or seven upwards. Home sweet home and straight into bath time. Aren't we? I just kept, literally came in the door and Andy had to go out. So um, the boys are in the bath and straight back into mum life. It's been such a lovely weekend. It's been so, so good. Like exactly what I needed. Really nice and chilled out. And Stobo was amazing. I would definitely recommend. I would definitely recommend checking out Stobo. We had a really lovely spa treatment and the dinner was amazing and so was the lunch that we had today as well. The massive thanks to Stobo for inviting me. That was lovely and I know the girls had a great time as well. If you're looking for a wee spa weekend or a couple of nights away over Christmas, it would be lovely at Christmas actually because it's got that nice kind of cosy feel to it and <coughs> they do lots of nice wee packages and stuff so I'll leave all the details in the description box. If you want to go and check it out, it's a bit chaotic in the last two minutes of it, but I will see you on Wednesday's video. Bye!